Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at an example of calculating probability using permutations and combinations. So let's say a student advisory board consists of 17 members. Three members will be chosen to serve as the board's chair, secretary, and webmaster. Each member is equally likely to be assigned to each of the positions. What is the probability of randomly guessing the three members who will be chosen for the board? So the first question that we need to ask is if we're working with a permutation or a combination. Because we are assigning individuals to particular positions, order matters. Who the chair, who the secretary, and who the webmaster are matters. It is not just that we have three members of the executive board, they have particular positions which means we're working with a permutation. So let's start with the number of ways that that can be accomplished. So if we have 17 members on the advisory board and we need to take a permutation of groups of three, then that would be 17 factorial divided by 17 minus three factorial. So that would be 17 factorial divided by 14 factorial, or 17 times 16 times 15 times 14 factorial over 14 factorial. So my 14 factorials cancel out and that leaves me with 17 times 16 times 15, or 4080. So there are 4,080 ways to choose a chair, a secretary, and a webmaster. Now, what is the probability of randomly guessing the three members who will be chosen if each member is equally likely to be assigned to those positions? Well, let's see, basically you get one guess, so your probability of a correct guess, you get one guess and there will be one correct outcome out of 4,080 possible outcomes. So the probability of guessing correctly is pretty low. It's one out of 4,080. All right, guys, that does it for this video. We'll catch you in the next one.